A capacitor is an electrical component that stores small amounts of charge. They're used widely in radios and TVs and all sorts of electrical circuits and electronic circuits. Um, they are made up of two plates. The electrical symbol, the circuit symbol for a capacitor, are two parallel lines which represent the plates and inside this one here we can see that this, these plates are wrapped up into a kind of Swiss roll with a bit of insulation between them called a dielectric. And this allows us to push charge onto the capacitor and store that charge on those plates. So when voltage is applied to a capacitor that's a kind of electrical pressure which causes a charge to flow if there is a circuit, then charge is pushed into the capacitor until there is no more room. It's rather like filling up a, uh, a subway train with people. You just keep the people, keep pushing in until there's absolutely no more room and the pressure inside the train increases. That's the, that's the voltage. Uh, across the capacitor. It rises and rises until there's not enough room left on the train and that capacitor would be at maximum charge. So this means that a capacitor is a tiny store of electrical energy. So, so far we've used that one and charge and store and energy. Now, capacitors charge up at different rates and so are useful in time delay circuits. Here's a, an idea of how you could make a time delay circuit. So here's a battery and what we're going to do is restrict the current that flows in this circuit by putting a resistor in series with a capacitor. And uh, we'll have a switch here which will complete the circuit. And just so we can see how the voltage is increasing with time over the capacitor, we're going to put a voltmeter in parallel with it. Now if that resistor is high enough resistance, then to start with we will connect the switch and a current will start to flow. If the resistor is high enough it'll be a small current and we'll start to put charge onto the capacitor. So the voltmeter will start to increase its reading. Now, as we put more and more charge onto this capacitor it becomes more and more crowded with charge and the voltage across it, the electrical pressure, increases. And that's kind of like a back pressure. It stops any more current from coming onto it, any more charge from coming onto it. And so eventually it's fully charged and the voltmeter will be reading the maximum voltage of the supply. If this was 6 volts, then the voltmeter would read 6 volts after a certain time. This is really useful as a time delay circuit and that might be used, for example, in a, an alarm clock. Um, so that uh, your radio switches off uh, when you've fallen asleep or it might be a, a snooze function or it, it might be even a washing machine which needs a time delay um, to let the water soak in. All sorts of applications for capacitors. So those are capacitors. Remember the key words. You need to apply a voltage across it and then it'll start to store charge until there's no more room left in which case the current will stop and it is a tiny store of electrical energy used for time delay circuits.